A, let's review masking in Adobe Lightroom. Masking in Adobe Lightroom is a really great feature because it allows you to selectively edit part of the photo rather than making adjustments to the entire photo. So let's get right into it. So after you have a photo imported, you're going to see the brush tool on the right hand side here. And if you don't see this drop down menu, you can press the drop down right there and what you're going to do is press the auto mask button. After you press the auto mask button, you can adjust your brush size and you're going to click and drag all over what you want to mask out. Now, you can't see the mask right now, but what you can do is press the O and then you can adjust to see what you're masking out. And as you can see, I'm brushing the red mask all over my shirt and that red mask won't be there in the final project. You can toggle between seeing the mask and uh, seeing your adjustments by pressing the O button. And as you can see, I'm uh, changing the tint right now to change the colors, changing the temperature, and uh, whatever you want, contrast, any adjustments, and it'll only affect that one masked aspect of your photo. On the other hand, if you click the adjustment button on the right hand side at the top, it'll affect the entire photo rather than just the masked selection. So you have to go to the brush tool. Important to note, if you messed up it with your mask, you can hover over the mask and you'll see this blue dot. Just click it, it'll turn it red to show you the mask. And what you can do at the top here is click the eraser and you can erase part of the mask so it won't be included in your final adjustments. As you can see here, if I want to erase just this area, it'll be taken away from the mask. Also, if you want to delete the entire mask, you can press O, click the dot, and click the delete button, and that'll delete the entire mask. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.